What's going on guys? Welcome back to Mr. Rebox Monday. Yes, I hope everybody's having a fantastic Christmas break. I hope you're all enjoying the Advent Calendar series. And I'm going to apologize right now for the late upload. Uh, to be honest, it, <laughs> after all the all of the Christmas stuff that went on, uh, yesterday just kind of got a little bit away from me. And uh, by the time I remembered about the uh, video, it was actually 2.30 in the morning. So uh, I am very, very sorry for that. And I wasn't going to make an episode when I was basically asleep. So I, I am very, very sorry for the late upload today. But we're going to make up for it because i got a whole bunch of awesomeness. And, <laughs> and in here, got a whole bunch of new stuff. Well, some new stuff, some uh, recent stuff, I'll put it that way. Uh, first up, we have the brand new Rimac Nevera from the Hot Wheels Green Speed Series. And uh, I do believe that this one will possibly, I know it was a Rimac of some sort. I don't know if it was the Nevera uh, version. Uh, Richard Hammond actually crashed it on one of the Grand Tour episodes. So yeah, uh, I think that it was, oh, what? I don't know, I think it was season two of the Grand Tour, one of the first episodes uh, where they had this in there. It was a white version, I think. I can't remember. It's been a while since I've seen it. So yeah, it's very, very nice to have the actual car. This one's got the big giant metal wang on the back there. Nice light details painted up. Very, very nicely done. Uh, this bottom half seems to be plastic along the bottom there, uh, part of the base by the looks of it. Uh, but the top half is a nice metallic blue color. It's got a bit of a black section in there also. Nicely painted up headlights and the badge on the front there. So a very, very cool car. And uh, ever since I saw that episode, I was like, wow, that is just such an awesome looking car. Uh, so now I have an actual Hot Wheels version of it. So very, very happy for that. And we also have another short card. This is the Bone Shaker. Uh, this is from the new Hot Wheels Unleashed, I think it is. From a new game, I think. Uh, I'm not entirely sure. Hot Wheels, Team Hot Wheels. Uh, awesome, something or other written on there. I can't quite read what that says. Uh, it does have the white wall tires though. That's pretty cool with the black five spokes. Uh, black and chrome, very, very nicely done. With the chrome skull on the front chrome engine details and the chrome interior and a really cool card art also yeah topless version so always nice uh, not really any information on the back of that for what the uh the logo is for but yeah still pretty awesome yeah not too bad at all uh next up we have the treasure hunt the Regent express very very cool uh, this is in the red with the uh the red plastic body and the chrome plastic base there as well or is that a metal base oh no that's a uh, metal base just with some chrome extra pieces so yeah very very nice uh, chrome aero disc wheels i love the artwork on the side there and i don't know if you can notice but this is the treasure hunt so that is really really cool very nice decatur front end and everything like that um, did we get one of these last week? Sorry, just uh... I don't know where I would have put it, but I do believe that we have this one already. So, um... Yeah, we'll open this one up next week. I'll double check first. But I have a, have a strong feeling that we've already seen that on the show, so... Uh, it, let me know in the comments below if we have already seen that, because I do think that... I think that I've already shown that on the show. Uh, I love that casting, so it's very uh, good chance that I have already bought it before. Uh, next up is the 2020 Toyota GR Supra from the Then and Now series. We've already seen the Then version, and now we have this brand new Supra. Nice detailed badging and headlights on the front there. Nice body kit front splitter there in black. The uh, G Ready logo on the side, and a little bit of a uh, white and black striping, metal wing on the back there, and uh, no real light details, but it's a red car, so you wouldn't really notice it anyway. But uh, yeah, quite a cool looking car. 
It is kind of growing on me now. I wasn't very phased about the new Supra when it first came out. Um, I like the old Supra, like the, not the, uh, not the one from the then version, uh, but the one before that. I'm not entirely sure what year it is. It's like very early 90s or late 80s version of the Supra. Was, that was a cool one. Twin turbo, yeah, absolutely awesome. Oh, I've got a matchbox in there, but we'll get to that in a second. Ah, yes, this one we are 100% opening. This is the Tony Hawk Skate Grom. Big, big fan of Tony Hawk. Huge fan. Spent half my entire, half my life uh, on a skateboard or a BMX. So, uh, Tony Hawk is a legend. I uh, don't know if I mentioned this on the last episode, but I would love to see a Rodney Mullen version of this because I now have a Steve Caballero version and now a Tony Hawk version. So they are absolute legends in the skateboarding world. There we go. There is the Birdhouse logo there. Very, very cool. Pink zebra pattern and Hot Wheels skate on the bottom there. Uh, this is a metal base piece there. And that's the uh, plastic piece on the top. White wheels with a pink trim. <laughs> yeah, a very, very cool skateboard. I do actually really like that. And then we get the skater. Uh, not too much in the way of detailing on this, but for all you customizers out there, it will be perfect. All right, it even has Tony Hawk's autograph and a Hot Wheels logo on the back of his jumper or his t-shirt. That is really cool. All right, I'm gonna keep that like that. Uh, because this will be going onto my desk with my Steve Caballero, believe it or not. Uh, yeah, that, the Steve Caballero one actually lives on my desk. It's been there for years. So it's nice now to have a Tony Hawk to add to the collection. That is just super cool. Uh, next up, oh, that's right. Actually, we'll do the Matchbox first. You can see what that is, that's really cool. Uh, we have the black version of the Subaru SVX. Uh, when I found the red version, it was actually um, a Tesla inside the box. So that was very unfortunate. I can't remember if I've already bought one of these, but it was in a pretty new box. So possibly I have not already bought this one. And we'll open this one here up and see what it looks like. I still have to find the red one somewhere. Oh, uh, how cool is this? I shall put this back in there so I know where it is. There we go. So throwing it on the floor. Oh wow, this is really nice. It's like a, uh, a very dark metallic charcoal color. It's almost black, but it's not actually black. Really nice, a lot of metallic in there. And uh, my phone's ringing, so uh, give me one second. All right, and we're back. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, yeah, had to answer the phone quickly, so I hope it does not interrupt your viewing too much. Uh, but when we get back to the SVX, because it's absolutely beautiful. It has an indicator on the side there. Uh, these gold wheels are gorgeous. Love that. A little bit of a look at the interior. Really, really nice looking design of this car. And there is the rear with that wraparound light bar for the brakes. SVX on the license plate. Just a really, really cool looking car. It's got a little wing on the back there as well. Sunroof, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you'll have to let me know what you guys think of the Subaru SVX now in this beautiful, really dark black metallic, kind of very, very charcoal-y looking. I reckon that looks really, really cool. There we go, get that to balance there without falling off. All right, now we'll get into the new Hot Wheels Corvette series. We found a couple of these uh, last week. Um, so I'm just having a look off this side here. There's one. Oops. Oh my God. All right, there you go. <laughs> these are the ones that we found last week. Or the ones that the week before, I'm not entirely sure. So we'll have a quick look at these. Here we go, the 64 Stingray, beautiful, beautiful car and then the Corvette C8R, which is really, really cool also. Uh, but now we will get into the new selection. Was that? Okay, there's quite a few in this set. I didn't realize there were so many in this set. Uh, here we have the 2019 Corvette ZR1 convertible in yellow. Nice headlight details, badging's beautifully done. Yeah, very nice interior on there also. 
plus it has the rear lights as well. Yeah, really, really cool. So let's just put them all up there. Let's just put them all up there. <laughs> all right, because uh, there's only two more, so yeah, may as well. Uh, next up, we have the Corvette Stingray. This is a very, very old one. It looks like, looks like a, a race car more than anything else. Nice white color, no, number 70 on the side. Chrome side pipes as well, that's really, really cool. Uh, the black vents on the top, number 70, and the red racing stripe. And you can see the Corvette badge there as well. Nice grill piece there, it uh, looks to be, I oh know it's just part of the uh, construction with the shadow, it looked like a silver or gray piece, but it's not, it's actually white, just a bit of a shadow there. Uh, more of the racing stripe over the top, and there is the back there. Yeah, pretty cool looking car. Do quite like this casting. I have a couple of these in my collection now, so nice to add another one. And the last one is the C6 Corvette. Really cool, black with that red pinstriping on the side there, gray wheels, really, really nice. Nicely painted up headlights, badge detail. You get the racing stripe over the roof, or over the bonnet, I should say. And on the back there, we do not get any rear tampos or anything like that, uh, but still, that is awesome. All right, which ones do we need now? Which ones do we need now? Uh, did we have the 55 Corvette? No, we did not have the 55 Corvette. Hope to find that one. Uh, we have this one, this one. Uh, we need to find the old C3 Corvette, uh, the 97 Corvette, and yeah, that's all. Only a few more to collect. Uh, there's only eight in the set, so I should be able to find them without too much trouble, I would think. <clears throat> uh, now we have a new, is this a Batman set? Uh, we'll flip it over. Yes, here we go. Did you say new Batman set uh, with the hall and gas with the Batman on the side there? Really cool looking uh, picture there. You can see like this uh, flames coming off there into the red there. That's absolutely awesome. And there's the Batman there. Really cool casting as well. There you go. There's the front. Headlights are painted up. A little bit of grill detail in there as well. It's kind of hard to see, but there is a little bit of grey paint inside the grill. Uh, chrome interior, yeah pretty cool, uh, blue section and chrome section on the roof there and on the back there we have some licensing, dual exhaust and lots of brake lights, indicators and such. So yeah, uh, pretty nice looking set. Uh, I really want to find the Dodge A100, that one looks absolutely awesome. And then there was the match, the MBK van is also the other one that we could not find, uh, but we do have these ones here, which is the ones which I would have thought would have gone first. Uh, these two. I thought these two would have gone first. I, can, uh, I was, yeah, everybody's gonna try and find this one because it's a great casting and it's got the old TV series Batmobile, uh, Batman on there too. So yeah, hope to find that one. Nice, nice, like that one a lot. Uh, next up we have the 09 Custom Ford Transit Connect and what a cool casting. I love a look at the card art there. That is awesome as well. Not sure what Batman series this one is from, but that picture is so cool. I really like that. And there is the side of the van with that same picture. Nice wheel choice. Uh, there is the front there. Lensed headlights, wow. Uh, it's got the Ford badge. Uh, big grill section there. Uh, seems to have like a roof scoop. Uh, bonnet vents also. This is crazy, crazy looking. <laughs> oh wow. And there's some exhaust pipes coming out of the back there. Uh, a roof wing. Yeah, that's really, really cool. Uh, obviously it's a brand new casting for the year. Uh, so it'd be nice to see this in kind of like a, uh, not so much a racing livery, but more like a race team livery. Uh, kind of like the, oh, what would you even have for it? I don't know, even if it was just a Ford branded, like with a big Ford oval on the side there uh, in white and blue, would be nice. But just any kind of like, uh, any kind of like racing theme, like race team stuff. I reckon that would look absolutely cool. Try and get that to get there, yeah. Don't want too much glare on the screen. And now we have, um, I do not know what this uh, Batman is from, but 
Robin looks very strange perched up there. <laughs> and well, Batman looks like he's been through battle. Uh, so yeah. <laughs> Uh, do not know what this series of Batman is called. If anybody does know what this uh, series of Batman is, put it in the comments below, because uh, I'll try to find some comics to read for it. I do quite like comics, um, always willing to receive comic recommendations or cartoon uh, recommendations if anyone has anything cool to watch. Uh, it's kind of like a weird brown kind of color. Uh, it's got the headlight details, the Land Rover badging there, uh, kind of like army green wheels uh, it's got that really really cool looking uh, picture of Batman on the side there in the middle of a battle and on the back there we have the uh, more of that paint detailing and the uh, brake lights badging and all of that and I'm sure that all of these will have something different on the opposite side um, I can't guarantee that every single car from this set will have something different on the opposite sides of it uh, but generally when they do do premium cars they do have a secondary picture for the other side uh, so in this case it could possibly be Robin just standing on the opposite side there so yeah <laughs> um, next up we're just going to grab these out of the box empty box uh, we went to TK Maxx and we've got a couple of things from TK Maxx um, starting with these these are the Hot Wheels mystery models these have never ever been five dollars They've never ever been $4. I buy these usually for $2 a pack for the car. And this is the, uh, I think this is the new 2022 Series 2 set. Um, I don't know if we were able to find many cars from this set before, but uh, I'm trying to find the entire series so we can actually do a review on them. Um, yeah, it's very, very hard to find this set and kind of see what cars are in this series there. Um, and what I have here is number three, which if we look down here, is actually the Camaro, which is this one. So that's pretty cool. Uh, on this pack, that's a different pack. Uh, this one here is the same year, and this is number, number two, uh, which is this car. So that is pretty awesome. Uh, then we just need to find that one and then the rest of the set because we don't have any of these cars from that set so uh, wish me luck guys uh, because paying four dollars for each of these cars is absolutely way overpriced they are not worth that they're only worth the two dollars that I normally pay but uh, because it's been so hard to find them I just grabbed those ones just because well uh, those were the only two that were really available to find and then we have this series this is the series one set and what we have inside here is number two. And if we look down here on the poster, it's the red one. And the red one is a Ford Falcon XR6 race car. Uh, so I'm not entirely sure what sets this one from. This one's also 2021 copyright. So this could be the Series 1 2022 or the Series uh, 1 2023, possibly. Who knows? I'm not entirely sure. Um, but yeah, pretty cool. So hopefully we'll be able to find the rest of these cars in there because I'd love to actually open this particular one and get the, uh, the Falcon race car out of there. I think that'd be absolutely awesome to get. Um, and then when we were also at TK Maxx, we found this. Yes, that is pretty awesome. This is the, the Majorette Porsche 911 GT3 RS car carry case with the, the uh, green car up the back there, the green Porsche up the back. So pretty awesome. Uh, that's how it opens up and you can get all the cars in there. Uh, is this going to be hard to open? Can we just open it up to, so we can see it? Uh, oh, okay. Sticky tape everywhere. Is that all of it? Uh, this is... Who designed this box? Okay, we'll open it from the bottom here now. Okay, this is a little bit ridiculous, guys. Uh, instructions. I don't know why we need instructions to use this. Uh, get rid of that, get rid of that. And we now have access to the car. Yes, we have access to the car. Very, very cool. And here is the exclusive. <laughs> it 
So we're going to even get this off. All right, there we go. I don't want the packaging anyway. That is the least of my worries. So I'm not going to worry about trying to keep that. Uh, there's the back. There's some more Porsches in the uh, Porsche series that you can collect from Maple And there's the price that I paid, $29. Compare at $50. Um, and $50 is actually an accurate price for this because all of the other places I've seen this have actually been around the $50 to $60 uh, price range. So let's get rid of the rubbish. Grab this car out because we want this. Hot glue to hold this together. All right, there we go. Oh, my goodness. That was a little bit of an effort to get out. Uh, here we have the nice, bright, neon green Porsche 911 GT3 RS from Majorette. Lens headlights, a uh, little bit of a black detail just there. Porsche badge, nice accessories on the front there too. A little bit of extra paint there for those fog lights or daytime running lights, whatever you call them. Gold wheels, GT3 RS striping, and more black there for some extra vents and such. This has the opening doors, which is really, really cool. Love that feature. Uh, these don't open very far, but it does have a nice interior as well. Kind of hard to see. Trying to get some sort of angle for you. You can see it has the racing seats and everything like that. Uh, a plastic wing on the back, uh, brake lights, GT3 RS logo, and the twin exit exhaust there. Just a really, really cool looking car. And there is the base. And it's got the suspension. Yes, a little bit of suspension is really, really cool. All right, and now we can go to this. Yes, very cool. The big version car carry case. Has uh, clear covers for the lights. This is in the police livery, which is really, really cool. Nice details for a large vehicle. Nice looking wheels in gray. Police on the side there. It's got the light bar too. And uh, yeah, <laughs> uh, so cool. Uh, lens tail lights as well. GT3 RS. It's got a wing there too. That's awesome. Big wing on the back there. That is too too cool. And you open it uh, like this. Oh, it's actually already in the unlock position. And there we go. And there are the car spaces. Just pull those off. We have a few down the bottom there. Uh, five down the bottom. Oh no. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven spaces on the bottom. And on the top we have the four spaces there. And this just clicks back in together. So we'll just get this and start the Porsche collection because I'm gonna actually put all of my Porsches uh, into this. I have a few Porsche 911 GT3 RSs in my collection because it's one of my favorite Porsches. Uh, I much prefer the old, old, the old Porsches. I can't remember what one it was. Uh, it's like an 80s version of it. It's got the big giant wing on the back of it and the wide body. Uh, that's kind of like my favorite Porsche of all time. But the GT3 RS is absolutely stunning car. I really like that. And uh, we'll just slide this back on. There we go. Slid it into place and we'll We'll lock that up so it doesn't fall apart. So <laughs> that's absolutely awesome. Yep, I know I'm a big kid when it comes to stuff like this, but I like that. Uh, we have a few other big items off to the side here too. So we'll go through these as quickly as possible because, well, there's quite a few of them. Uh, here we have the twin pack, kind of like a uh, old school race car, muscle car two pack. Uh, very, very nice. Uh, we have the 66 Chevelle and the 69 Ford Torino Talladega, uh, both in their racing liveries. So that is really, really awesome. Uh, on the back there, we have already had a look at the BMW Lancia and the Lamborghini pack. That is absolutely awesome, that pack. Uh, but yeah, got these three completed now, so that is awesome. Uh, but then we found a new one. Yes, these are the new ones. This is a McLaren twin pack with a McLaren Senna and a 720S. Look at this pair of cars. This is almost, well actually this is better than the uh, Lamborghini one I have to say. 
The Lamborghini one was cool, but this one here you get the, the McLaren Senna in all its details. That is too, too cool. And the 720S is pretty awesome uh, with all of the premium details on it also. But I love that. That McLaren Senna is so cool. Look at that picture. Wow. <laughs> there we go. And the back also has some pretty awesome cars as well. Uh, we have this uh, Snake and Mongoose twin pack. That is going to be incredibly hard to find, I can assume, because when we had the Team Tramp order, uh, where these were sold singularly with a matching truck, a uh, flatbed truck, they were very, very hard to find. Uh, so, yeah, uh, wish me luck on finding those ones as well. That's going to be cool. And then we have the Ford GT race pack. Oh, man, this is absolutely awesome. I do quite like the Ford GT, and the Ford GT race is just a, uh, a, a just a top-of-the-line version of it. And there is the McLaren pack as well. So, yeah, wish me luck on finding those other cars. That'd be absolutely awesome to find them. Try and put those into a position where they can be seen. Uh, we did find some Team Transports. We found these two packs of Team Transports. Well, we found all three uh, that are on the back here. Uh, but, well, here we go. MG Metro pack, Mercedes MG pack, and then a hydroplane set. Uh, I did not pick this one up because I do not really care for the uh, the boat. Uh, I've, no, I've never been a big boat guy, but this truck, this truck was just really, really cool. I loved the truck, uh, but I did not want the plane. So yeah, don't want to pay 20, I think they're $21, I think that these are now, um, but I picked these ones up for $15, so thankfully they weren't all overpriced. Uh, but yeah, I'm not wasting money on the on it, if that's what I'm getting for the vehicle. But how cool is this? Look at the Mercedes on the back there. Really, really awesome. All the racing team liveries. Love that. And this is actually going to be a good match with the other um, Mercedes IWC racing team transporter that they came out with not too long ago. Oh, let's see if we've got a watch on the roof. <laughs> awesome. So yeah, really, really cool. Happy to happy to have that in the collection. If we ever find two of them, I will open uh, one of them. Uh, but until then, we'll have to look at them through the packets because I don't want to open the packets because they're just awesome. Uh, this one here with the Hot Wheels Rally Hauler and the MG Metro 6R4 and trailer. Do quite like how they do this pack with the separate trailer and the van. It'd be really cool if they added a different vehicle in there as well for the uh, the van. Uh, I would love to see another van. I don't want to have a truck or a, a pickup truck or, or anything like that. Keep with the van theme because when you go to a racetrack, you need somewhere to sleep, so or somewhere for all your tools and such like that. So the van is a brilliant idea. I would just like to see. A variety of vans, maybe a, uh, maybe some more of the uh, Ford van that they had, or even some of the uh, the camper vans. Uh, but yeah, any kind of camper van would be brilliant to keep with this pack. Really nice. I really do like this actually. Simple red and yellow and white, and the car is really really cool as well. Full rally car with the wide body white interior it's got the roll cage in there and all of those beautiful details on the back oh this is just absolutely awesome now there are heaps of these on the shelf so um yeah people only wanted the mercedes for some reason because there were heaps of these and well the boats are still there uh, it was about two weeks ago that i bought these or a week and a half ago that i bought these and um yeah so <laughs> Um, yeah, people only want the Mercedes and they don't want this, which is fine for me because it made it easily available to pick up. Um, last couple of items off of the show. We have the new Jurassic World Dominion 5 pack. And I had seen these Jurassic World packs as high as $20. Yes, $20 for five cars. And you don't even want all of the cars. All you want is the Jeep and the Jeep. <laughs> and uh yeah i don't i don't know what you call that like i know it's from the show and it's, it's got a moving part in there but yeah uh, i really wanted this because it has all the extra pieces on the back there 
Uh, that's pretty cool as well because it's got a removable part there uh, and then you get the dinosaur. So um, yeah, so that and that just make this a, uh, an unwanted pack. Uh, so I'm really only paying for three vehicles. Well, technically I'm only paying for two vehicles. So yeah, try and find this cheap if you can. I picked this one up for $12 at Big W. Uh, they're, <coughs> they're actually, uh, that's the same price as every other Matchbox 5 pack that they have there. So it's just, a, it's just another 5 pack, uh, but don't pay some stupid toy price. Uh, ch toy store prices where they try and charge $20 because that's an absolute rip off. Um, I have two items left for the day. I'm just trying to figure out which one I want to do first because one is absolutely super cool and one of them was just very strange. All right, we'll do the strange one first. We'll do the strange one first. Here we have a Hot Wheels 10 pack. Um, or should I say a Hot Wheels 9 pack? Uh, we'll have a look at the cars. There's some cars there. It's got the GTR, which is really cool. Uh, a couple of other cool looking cars. It's got the Bone Shake, which was in the main line. And then we have the exclusive 350Z, love that. So I've got a couple of these cars already, uh, but it's uh, it's still sealed. It is 100% still sealed, factory sealed. Um, there is no sign of any kind of tampering. Uh, I've had a good look at all of the edges. It all feels exactly the way that it should. There you go. <laughs> Down to $8.40 because uh, there's one missing uh, but this does not appear to have been returned or opened in any way this is most definitely a uh, try to look at this, the edges here there's no glue or anything like that it is all exactly the same as it normally is it's always like that so yeah this I'm 100% sure that this is actually an error 10 pack with a missing car uh, because well yeah I've looked at these I've looked at all of the seals and everything on here it is all exactly the way that it normally would be uh, when you compare it to an other any other 10 pack so yeah if you did return this to the store good job of resealing it because that's a brilliant brilliant uh, job of resealing it uh, but going through the rest of the 10 packs on the pile which all had the exclusive. They're all generally the same. I don't know what could have possibly been in there because there wasn't really much in this, the entire selection. So yeah, if you did buy it and reseal it, good work. <laughs> there you go. Um, I'm probably going to open this anyway because I want that out of there and I want that out of there. So yeah, for eight bucks, I'm happy to buy it. Even if somebody has returned it because it's still way cheap for nine cars. Uh, and the last item we have for today is Ultra Hots. Yes! When I was a kid, the Ultra Hots uh, range was one of the best ranges of cars because they were all looked absolutely awesome and the wheels were always cool as well. I only have a few of them from my childhood collection uh, now. Uh, but when I saw this pack, the Ultra Hots 8 pack, I was like, oh wow, I've got to have a look at that. And then I looked at it and I couldn't believe it. Now, before we get into the actual look of the cars, this is the selection of vehicles. Look at all of this awesomeness. How cool a lineup of cars is that? Definitely an absolute winner. Uh, there's a barcode there for you if you want to try and find one of these yourself. I picked this up from Target in Australia. It was uh, $28. So, uh, yeah, it's kind of the price that you'd pay for it kind of like as the normal price would go. Uh, there is the inside box lid there also. And there is the cars. Look at all of them. Beautiful. So we are going to be opening this box up on a future episode. Uh, I would like to know, do you want me to open this up for a new year episode? Because I really, 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 really Really, 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 really want to open this up and I want to share it with you guys when I do. So, shall we do this for New Year's? Yeah, yeah, put it in the comments below. New Year's, uh, New Year's video, I reckon. That sounds like a really cool idea because look at that. Look at these cars. Look at the paint jobs on them. Every one of these is really awesome. Look at that. Oh, I'm getting too excited. I really want to open it right now. Uh, but no, 
Put it in the comments below. Do you want me to open this up for New Year's or just open up whenever? And uh, yeah, you can just open it up whenever if that's what you want me to do. And uh, yeah, I'll have to put it in the comments below. Um, I've, I've run out of things to show you guys. I'm sorry about that. I just went to reach over to grab something else and there was absolutely nothing left to show. So um, yeah, I'm gonna wrap up today's episode. I really hope you enjoyed. I'm really sorry once again for completely forgetting to uh, record yesterday. Uh, just, I'm sure you guys know Christmas always takes it out of you and you get a little bit burnt out and the next thing you know you've completely forgotten about some pretty important things. So yeah, very, very sorry. So I'll, I'll, I'll make it up to you. I'll make it up to you. How about I do another video tomorrow? How about we do this tomorrow? Let's open this up tomorrow. All right, there we go. To make it up for you, I'm gonna open that tomorrow and we'll open that up in a couple of days on New Year's, on the New Year's Day special. And uh, yeah, I think that'll do us for today anyway. So I'm going to say thank you very, very much for joining me. Merry, merry, merry Christmas once again. I really hope you all had a fantastic holiday period. Um, until next video, until tomorrow, um, take care of yourselves and I'll see you all then. Bye guys. <laughs>